So during the last time we did, three things came up at the end, didn't they? We were talking about uh, the timing of the gear. What was yeah, there about that? Because we were going slightly uphill and then I tried to creep in third. Yeah. Because I should have changed into first. Or yeah. As I was getting to the end of the junction. Yeah, that's it. Do you remember the one on the Maypole though, coming down the fast road where you did it too early? You can down, I don't think we can down to one too early or something. Oh, yeah. So it's not the timing getting that better. So when should it be done? After I've <coughs> done all the steering and stuff. Yeah, so it's sort of last but about two seconds before you need it. So it's all go to one. Um, you do, what you don't want to do is go to one now if you're not going to need it, like five, ten seconds. Because there's no point if you don't need it yet, you don't need to go in. But you don't want to get there, stop, then do it too late. Okay. It's too, then you stop, you're going to roll back like that one in Hawks at the end, yeah. which we'll have a look at. Um, so there's that. The other one was about taking more chances to go, wasn't it? Yes. Um, what do you think about those? What could be better on those? Or what, what could I do to make it better? What could you do to make it better? So I need to, rather than telling you I should yeah. go, I should just that's go. It. I know today we've all said let me know, so that's okay to know. But um, for now on, what I'll do today is for the first 10 minutes at least, probably the whole lesson, I won't be doing the pedals at all, I won't be talking at all about junctions. So when you get to one, just go whenever you can. Because um, you weren't seeing the chances, or you just weren't doing them. So by the time you said yeah and I said yeah, it's kind of changed. Mm -hmm. So whenever you get to a junction, I won't say much at all, I won't say anything at all. Just take the chance whenever you can. The other thing was about, uh, what was it you said, the disorientation on the roundabouts? Oh yeah, so yeah. when you're going round, I sometimes forget where Yeah, so we'll go through that now. Because <coughs> there was only, um, I'll talk about this diagram. <coughs> There's only really had one time, that's the time I think we went the wrong way, on the Maypole, where we said right, <coughs> was it right third we're going to take, we took right fourth, I think yeah, it was. Like yeah, that. so the best way of avoiding that is simply to count them. So when you go around, um, do you remember what we said about number one, how that's a little bit awkward to count sometimes? Because it might be sort of like right to the left of me, so I might yeah. forget about it. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah, so when you get there, you try and avoid using the word right when you drive, because if you say right on the left, I know what you mean, but it's all good using that word. So it's sort of on the left as soon as you go. So you get there, um, so it's all one, two, three. You can still go four, because that lane you were in, the right lane, goes there or there. So it doesn't matter that you went that way. But we're going to try and avoid going the wrong way. Well, there is no wrong way because it doesn't matter. We're going to try and avoid going the way, going the way that we don't want to go. Okay. Um, so the main thing is still going to be that big roundabout to finish it off, the other one. But I think overall that went pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. There wasn't really anything wrong with that at all. So we'll get that finished today. We might get to start maybe something else as well, but probably not because there's still quite a bit to do. Because normally our roundabouts take, roundabout takes two lessons, but you did it pretty much in one, which is really good. Um, do you remember the thing about turning on as well? We did last time. About <laughs> I should turn it on first, then, well, it should be in neutral, yeah. and then turn it on, and then put it in first. That's it. I'll buy off neutral there, because I was going to show you the gears there for the roundabout. Yeah, but that's fine. Ready? So, if you want to turn on. Okay. We start in a different place today as well, because we've got this sort of central parking area. Um, because of where we are, where would you need to check differently to normal? Or as well as normal. Everywhere, because yeah, like, that way and that way. Yeah. You notice when I used to drive you out of here at the beginning, the one was looking at that mirror when you come out of that part. Because it's crummy. If you're coming out of this one, you're looking in that mirror. So it's actually a little bit easier here to move off. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, looking all around. So most of it, something for a bit. Most of it I'm going to leave up to you. Um, I won't so much at all, because the route we're doing now is going to be the similar route we did last time, pretty much the same route. Uh, but we are going to put in a little bit on the way that bit that they came in at the end last time, where we turned left at the end of that road. We'll put that in, yeah. and then we'll actually head a different way to the roundabout, because we don't need to do the same route you've done that before. Okay. But I do want to put in that tight roundabout on the way, the one by the green, that's quite an awkward one. So, it's over to you, um, I won't say much at all, just take any chances you can on the junctions. What you want is a chance, but not a risk. So you don't want to go if you can't tell for sure, but you shouldn't be sitting there if you know you can go. Okay. So last, was it last time we had the people appear around the corner, or the one before? Yeah, they were yeah. just... That's it. Oh, and again. Yeah, that was good. Same people, that was a problem. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so end of the road, we'll go right. It's raining again, but we've done plenty in the rain, so it should be okay. So if you want to tell me when you're thinking to go, and you can, but if not, you can just take the chance. I'll just maybe try and say while I'm doing yep. it. But I won't answer, so just be aware. That you don't need to get me to answer before you go. That timing's good there. Put that gear. Yep, that's good. Could you go on before that, do you think, or not? I probably could have 
Yeah. But that would have been a bit tight because when else could no way is wrong, no way's right. It's just that that would have been very tight if you go before. So possible but not good. Cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. Left a little bit. That's good. So, yeah, that's good. Next road on the right. That was like um I wanted things on the back of a car you tow things with, like a tow bar. <coughs> so let's see if you get the first chance on this. Yep, that's good. I mean, that would have been bad if you don't go because that man was blocking the road ahead and there was nothing at all around here. Behind there's a car, but ahead there was nothing. So that was good. <coughs> yeah, whenever you get an object, if it's like that, you try and get in the middle of the car. If it's bigger than like a football around the side, if you go next left. So, and it probably won't, but imagine if you come around the bend and there's something in the road. This one's pretty wide, so it's quite easy to get around. That's good. What if there's something like, say, a box in the road and you can't go around it or over it? What do you do? Uh, or a puddle or whatever it is. How would you treat that? Um, I mean, you can go around it, but not now. Imagine there's a car coming towards like you. Yeah. That's it. That That's it. So it doesn't matter if it's a parked car, parked van, bus, puddle, uh, you know, dead animal in the road or whatever. If you can't go around it straight away, move a signal stop and go around. The signal shows you're trying to go around it because anyone behind may wonder what you're doing if they can't see it. Okay. But back over to you, we're going to do that crossroads we did on the way back. Different way, but same crossroads. So end of the road right and then just follow ahead. But I won't talk now for a few minutes. When I said then I'll let you drive for a few minutes, you look like you weren't too happy with that. <laughs> I don't know if that was just me imagining it, but you, know, you might not have been just told you pulled a funny face. But there's nothing wrong with being anywhere, and that's good. So if we go ahead on this one, it's up to you again. I'm overly expressive, yeah. I think. <laughs> And if you need to, but that's good control. Okay. That's great, that's really good. So what do you think made that better than the other ones we did last time? Um, so I, did, I tried not to stop completely yeah. when I was going <coughs> up, so that yep. I could change. And, that's yeah. good. I noticed it before as well, it was because it was at the, end, at the end of the lesson. It can be hard when you've done like a two hour lesson, it's more tiring. So at the end of the road, we'll go left. So although you can't go, that's fine because the gear was at the right time. I mean, if you can't go, you can't go. It's just the way it is sometimes. What's the time then, do you think, or not? Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be not a massive chance, decent size, but not huge. If that one's coming in, could we or not? Uh, no. Uh, that's good. That's it. So let me know when you see it, or just take one whenever you can. Yeah, that's good. And next right, so this is where we've been on before, but we're going to sort of change it now, we're going to go some, some new roads. I mean, could you go before that one coming towards us? Yep, that's good. That's good. Now, as that was faster than normal, but nothing wrong with that, it's good. <coughs> because you turn better, that's really good. There is one part I'm going to help with now because this is going to be quite a weird looking road. We've been here before, you know the one when you turn right and it's that, it's got a wide junction on the corner. We did this a while ago now. It's the one where it's not that obvious where you're going. Right, okay. We're to turn in, but as soon as you turn in, we're going to turn back and come back this way. So I'll help with this a little bit, but it's going to be right, then right, then right, then left. So there's three okay. rights and a left. All in one go. So do mirror still as normal. Right. Same as, that's it, same to begin with. So this is the first right turn, the one we're normally going. This one? So it's past there, that's it. Because oh. you can't go in that first one. Oh, yeah, then yeah, can we go in? Yeah. That's good. Okay. That's it. But as soon as you go in, we come out, it's the second right turn. Keep it really slow, right again, just in here. Oh, right. Back where we came from, round and round. Braking, round again. And then left, can we carry on? 
Nope, nope, so push down back, that's good. That's good actually, I don't give you some rush gear, I was good in which gear now. Which gear? Oh, that's good, no sip. That's good actually, that's a very hard part to do. You could have gone if that car wasn't there, but because it were, that was great. I don't have time to rush you there if you're going to go, because by the time I've asked you, it's too late. So, that's what we did. We're only doing that so we can get back to this road you had last time at the end. Oh, okay. um, so it's going to be the end of the road left. I won't talk through it, so let's just give this a go. And um, it's up to you. Just remember what I said about you want the first gear about two seconds before you need it. But that's all I'll say. That's it, that's good. Can we go? That's good. <laughs> that's great. Because I went ahead instead of looking like this, or saying, OK, you go. That was too. Oh. I should have That's it, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. That's a lot better than before, so that, that's much better there. So we're going to head back towards that big roundabout now. Most of this again will be high speed and fast roads, probably. But you did do it well, so we don't need to overdo that. If you go as well, then um, you, we don't need to keep doing it over and over. But. This is going to partly see if you can apply rules you've learned before on different roads. So planning ahead, what's that? Um, what's it's going to be 40. That's good. Soon. What's the blue sign saying? Carriage way. That's it. Which lane's best if they're both available? So it should, if normally it's left. That's it. That's good. It's the weird yeah. last lane. That's it. And the speed was wrong. Well. Yeah, that's good. So any reason not to do 40? Well, maybe the lights. No, that's fine. That's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. But now they've gone. That's good to speed up. What is the ahead now? Yep, can we move over? Yep, let's do it. Let's go. That's good. But we'll stay in the right lane because once you've had one like that, you can see another one further on. So the signal comes off. That's good. And straight on. Did she press the lights or not? Nope, so now we'll do this straight away. That's good. What speed, what speed is this? That's it. This is really important because the right lane is for what? Um, yep, so in the right lane, you've got to get on with it like we are now. If you go in the right lane and crawl, it annoys everyone. So that's why like, the car behind get a little bit close, not too bad. But in the right lane, you should be doing the limit whenever you can. You don't have to, but if you're not, you probably shouldn't be in the right lane. So roundabout will go left. This is up to you. That's good. Signal, what else? That's good. That's good. Signal might come off if you put it back on, that's good. Because that roundabout's a funny show there. It's good you took it off because I, I think I mentioned that before about what you call a broken signal. I might not have called it that. But it's like when you take a signal off, then put it back on right. to show you haven't left it on by mistake. So what's the speed on this? Um, yep, that's it. So I won't stand it again now, that's up to you. But how can you be sure on this road? Not what the speed was. So without the sign, I don't know. Did you see the sign there at the beginning? I saw yeah. a little, a small one, but not yeah. a big one. So when you come around, it's two thirds at the beginning. That's how you know, that's the only way it can be shoe on this road. Because we said in the past about there should be something that tells you it's 30, but what is that something? Uh, it's more like the street lights. Yep, yeah, that's it. But the first one we really had is that one in the right there on the bush, in the bush. So, um, yeah. So it's quite hard this road, it does look like Snash, but it's not so. Make sure it's S30 all the way. Got the constant speed over to make sure it's still there. Yeah, so it's a bit deceiving because there are repeaters and reminders, but um, there aren't many street lights at all. This is hard, but do you remember how we said how far apart the street lights need to be for that to apply? Oh. It's quite hard, this. It's, it's, I mean. I never did it. It was like, it was like a couple of, was it? Oh, I'm not sure. No, I'm sorry, this is how you go. What would you say was that how far, how many yards, or whatever, because he's measured in yards normally. They're going to be quite close together. Um, yeah, I that's it, really that's good. That's really all you need to do, that's fine. If they're fairly close, it's 30. If you have like one now, one in half a mile, that doesn't apply. Because I don't do a line plan post if they're half a mile apart. Um, there are different rules, it's 200 feet or yards. 200 feet, I think it can be up to 300 feet. But you don't need to know that because you're not going to get out and measure how far it is. If you haven't seen one for a long time, that rule doesn't apply. That's good, good check in there. Try and hold the limit though, what, what is the limit? Um, it'd be 60. Yep, so try and hold that because today's perfect. Today it's raining a bit, but good conditions, not much around. Yep, let's try fifth. Fifth? 
That's it for this one. The fourth wouldn't be bad, but if you can skip a gear like that, it's fine. Because do you remember we said when would you need fourth? Because of our time, you get three, four, five. I can't remember. When would you need the power? <coughs> oh, so if it's like uphill. Yeah, that's it. But this one being flat, that's good. So now it's going uphill. Do you want to leave it? Fifth is fine, yeah. You can get up hills in fifth, it depends on the hill and how fast you're going, but if you're going up a big hill, go third, fifth, you just wouldn't get much power. That car's a bit close to you, I don't know. This makes it safe because in front, apart from that bike, there's not much going on. Behind that car's not in sight now, so that's good. Let's get well to the right, that's good. That's it. The more to the right you are, the safer you are, because you can see much further. That's good. So I was saying before, if you want to go left, the worst you can do is to move left, because then you blind yourself and you just get smashed down the curb. <coughs> so that's good. So you don't have to do that speed all the time, but if you can, then why not? So end of the road, we're going to go towards Alf Church, just to be a following signs now. We do more of this today, well, I'll just give you names of places to follow, but I won't be saying which way they actually are. But we'll go over that in more detail later on. And for the moment, they're just Alpha Church. The signs are a little bit smaller than normal, so just look out for them. I just think of this gap. Uh, that's that's good, that's it. Oh, that's very That's it, that's good. That's it, that's good. Yeah, that gap starts to get a bit small, but I've got to begin. So, which way is it going to be? Right. Yep, that's it. Just going, this is all up to you. Just get the first chance you can. No. That's good you broke there, that's really good. Because that's if you didn't break that little bit before, that second bit of breaking, that was really good. <coughs> that shows you understand about the fact if you can't see, you can't go. That's good. That wall over there is quite new. We're going to go straight on there, by the way. But that wall's quite new because someone came down the road about a year ago and just went straight over the end and smashed through the wall. They didn't see the end of the road. But I remember seeing the car embedded in the wall. Um, so that's why it's good you break, because you know, you're breaking. You're not going that fast though, but if you overdo it, that's what can happen. I'm guessing they were drunk, or I don't know how you'd miss that, but it's quite hard not to see the end of the road. So we're now going to follow the sign for the motorway. What colour would that be? Blue. That's it, so that makes it easier because already you can see. So it's up to you again. Just, just it. Um, so maybe left. Yep, that's good. That's it. That's good. Much more. That's good. So I remember saying last time, just on the way back, okay, the mirrors are not really good normally. I just remember saying the, the way back about there's all mirrors and all. So that's going really well. So this is our main, they're not the main ball, this is the Beckett's farm around the back. Different angles, we haven't done these before, doesn't matter. If you've got the same walls as you, as you did last time, it's the same. So we're going to go ahead, second exit, that's all you need to know. If you're not sure, let me know, but otherwise I'm going to leave it up to you. And it's towards Hollywood, if that helps, it'll say H-Wood on the floor. So what are these lanes say? This one? Okay. That's good. Okay. So, um, I'm going to have to stop, so it should be one. Okay, so we'll go. And this one, just let me know when you see a chance, because that's, that's it. That works out well, eh? But yeah. Because normally you get lots of cars there, but that's good. Yep, yeah, that's great. So what else is good? The lines on the approach are good. <coughs> the exit's good. Maybe. That's right, that'll do itself, that's good. That's it. If you haven't come off by now, you can take it off, but if it does, that's good. What's the speed on this? 30. Yep. Yeah. Do you notice those are lampposts, 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 telegraph pole lampposts? But I mean, these are obviously, you know, these are very close together. Imagine if you're on a road though and you really don't know what the speed is. <clears throat> like a road like this, what's the best thing to do? I'd probably say go 30. That's it. 
Okay, unless you're in a 20 zone, that's, that should work. Because um, yeah, it's not an old 20 zone, but if it was, that's the only time it wouldn't work. So we're going to go straight on for a little bit. So let's try that roundabout from different angles, but this is the point of what we're doing, that we didn't just teach you different directions. It wasn't this way, do this way, and this way, do that way. You learn how to go ahead, you learn how to go right, and then you can do it from any angle. It's not always that simple, because sometimes the lanes are quite badly marked. Stretched, uh, stretched car. It was like going, is, was it pointing in a direction? It's just that H would ahead, yeah. Because right. they, they all say ahead that one, it says ahead, ahead. Um, but again, next left for the blue car is, we'll go over that in a bit, because <coughs> that's something else we're going to look at today about the, um, like we said about uh, the orient disorientation, or orientation. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Because people probably won't see you going in there, because you're not. I'm going too slow. That's good. What made that not as good as it could be? Not what made you go around a bit quick? Um, should have braked for a little Yep, bit. just brake more than two. Because two is good, but it looked like you did two, then you accelerated. See, so you don't accelerate towards the bend, because otherwise you can accelerate on the bend if that kid's out of the way. But if you accelerate towards it, then it's not as good. It's much better to approach too slow. If you come at too slow, you can always speed up a bit. If you're going too fast, you've had it. But I know it's this warning speed camera. There is very often a speed van on this road. Just remember, I can't see the speed at all. I know you're not speeding out, but just to warn you that, because there's very often a van, speed cam van, that's why that car the other way is doing about 40, 50. You don't have to know where the vans are, because if you don't speed, it doesn't bother you. But imagine if you saw the van under the bridge now, and you're not sure what the speed is. Um, it isn't, but it, it can look like a high speed this because there aren't many lampposts about. That's true. But if you're aware of what's going on, <coughs> right, the last sign was off when we came off the roundabout, then uh, that's something that you pick up today. We're going to do more now on the signs and judging where to go. So end of the road, when you go left again, I'll leave it up to you um, because that's gone really well. That's good, that's good. Is that white car going to follow us or turn off? Turn off. That's good. So because of that, we don't need to rush. You don't need to rush in over. But so if you was speeding up, that's when you might think I'll speed up more. But I know what's going on behind. And yep, that's close. it. I mean, they were doing 40 well before the 40 sign. So what they're going to do now, maybe? Uh, they should slow down. Yeah. If we get to 40, because I can't see speed again. That's fine, that's good. So they'll probably go around. They may not. They'll you know, stretch car again. But just expect them to go around now. If they don't, great, but if they do, we're expecting it. Because if they did and someone come towards you, you may have to break. So, same way again for now, motorway. Maybe stay in three, because it's fairly open. But what do you think? Yeah, I don't know if they're going yep. That's good, that's great. So, yes. That's good. And have to stay for them, because with the car behind, you don't want to break too much, because they are getting a bit close, or they were getting a bit close. <coughs> you can't let them force you onto the roundabout, but that was good, it's nice and open. We go next road on the right, not the car park, because you know, but the road just after that called Chapel Lane. So because they're one behind us, you need to make sort of earlier, that's all the name. Okay. That's good, that's it. And just expect the worst, expect to have to stop. So breaking, 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 breaking. Can we go? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. Oh, what's that? They were, they were very happy. Yeah. But that's them speeding, we're doing nothing wrong. They were doing 40 or 50 out of 30 zones, so that's fine. That's why I say it's all brake, brake, brake. You've got to show them, look, we're slowing down. Some people who do that, they just don't get driving at all. They, they drive right on the back here, they don't understand anything. I don't get why you do that to a learner, though. They don't think of the consequences of the problem. They, they think, oh, they're not going to brake. People like that, they think nothing will ever go wrong, smash. They do go wrong. So I know it's all braking, what could be around the bend. That's it. That's it. We bike, dog, person, whatever. Could be anything there. If you can't see, you don't know. That's why it was good before when I said about it. It was good you were braking, slowing down, and then doing it. So, end of the road, we're going to go left. And then we're going to pull up again where we did before. Just go over a few things about the signs we've been talking about. About sort of telling where to go, that kind of thing. 
because it isn't just doing the roundabout, it's finding your way around it as a much part of driving as, as being able to drive it on the roundabout. Just run over here like that, not like that. So just a couple of seconds before we need it. That's good. That's good. So we're going to pull up on the left where we did before, just by the curb further on. We don't pull a B because that's the entrance to a field below. Right? That's good. That's really good because you should have that car behind clear what you're going to do. So that was nice and smooth and gradual. Right, so I'll leave the turn on again for the aircon because it's a bit warm again. But, um, so what do you think of that so far, first half hour? I think it went, oh, half hour. Yeah, that yeah. went very quickly yeah. and I think it went quite well. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Anything you think could be better or not? So I'm not saying anything's wrong, but is there anything you think could be better? That, the last right, no, was it left I did, was, yeah, I knew, I kind of knew I was doing it a bit too fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if it's a one-off, not too bothered about that because anything can happen as a one-off, but just breaking that a little bit longer <coughs> makes it a little bit easier. Because the thing you're saying about the bus line, the bus, um, what is it, a bus line or not? I can't remember if you said like bus line bus, or not. Like where the bus pulls in. That's it. Um, so that doesn't matter because people shouldn't think you're going in there. I know you could have been, but you, you shouldn't really be pulling up there. Um, so say if you're going to go into that driveway in front of us now, that one on the left, I mean, how would you go into there? Not that we will, but if you were, how would you do that? So I'd want to indicate. Oh, no, yep. wait, so I'd... Yeah. Like that, that's good, but in terms of the gears and all that. You want to be in what? No. Yeah, that's it. So you would virtually stop dead, one, and then move off into that driveway. There's nothing wrong with that, because if you're going in two, you'll be off the road, flying into your house. So yeah, sometimes you have to slow right down. So the one that's behind is just a red car, it's just saying, it's all brake, 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 brake. So it's all showing, look, we are slowing down. Because some people, even when you brake, they still get closer and closer, they just don't see what's going on. Um, a lot of them drivers sit like this right on the wheel, they leave them wrong with eyes, but they just stare right at you. Like they just don't know what's going on. Um, running, so, let's see, if you want to turn off actually, you should be okay, because that's no, good, won't be for too long. Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's turn for a little bit. Um, off, I know. So, the things about the road signs, uh, I'm just going to grab this. Can I show this? I'm just going to draw this. Normally I'd use some books, but because we're filming this, I can't because they're all copyrighted. So I can't sort of show books to copyright on the screen. So just imagine you've got a sign, you get several signs. We haven't spoken about the colours of signs much, but do you know what colours you get? There's several different colours. So like, you get the, the blue ones and then the white ones yeah. with the red on the outside. And That's it. So imagine that's a white one. Mm -hmm. It's a white one because it's a white board. So a white sign, what do they normally tell you? There's a certain kind of thing. So they're normally telling you like information yep, or directions. That's it. So that would just mean, like I said, directions, information, both. That's good. So you might have a thick line there, and it might be a th the one I'm thinking of. We did about there. There's a little thin line there, then a thick line there, then a thin line there. <coughs> so what do the lines mean? Like it's a thick and thin. What's that tell you? Hmm. I think it might be. Is it like? the number of lanes that are there. I just made that up. It's not so much lanes, but it's something else. It's similar, but... What's it mean about like, the width of the road? It's talking about the width of the coach coming towards us. Oh, and, so um, the thick ones are thicker, like wider roads, are they? Well, they're generally like main roads. So not necessarily wider, but main roads. So um, that bus should be fine. Yeah, that shows you pulled it well, because that bus isn't even slowing down. Um, so if you go to green signs, and this isn't green, but imagine you've got a green sign, like, sort of rectangle because this links in with this. What does green mean? We haven't mentioned this, but you might know this from, from reading it somewhere. Um, I can't think of many green signs. So green is an A road, which is a main road. So you talk on here, um, if you get a thick line, it's a main, more of a main road. So uh, that one is a very small country lane. That one on the right is just an office block. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean the road's narrower, but it, it just means like a not, not such a big road, not an important road. But not in terms of width, but like in terms of traffic. So not as many cars will go out that way. So if you're going towards, for example, Birmingham or Evesham, whatever, you'd be following probably a thick line because you're not going to have a little line for Birmingham. You could do, but not very likely. Yeah. So the green sign, if that was green, will be an A road. You often get a green sign followed by a white sign. So the white sign can be B roads, which are like, um, I'm not sure this is a B road now, but it's like a main road, but not a really, really main road. So like, like an A road would be, I don't know if you know these roads, like the Bristol Road. 
into yes, town. Yeah. And the B road will be like the one that goes past the Cricket Ground, the Priory, something it's called, Edgebaston Cricket Ground, where the Priory Hospital is. You might not know around there, but that's the B road. So it's still a busy road, but not quite as busy. Pretty sure that's the B road anyway. But yeah, so you don't have to know all this, but it helps. So you've got blue signs motorway, green for the A road, white can be any kind, but generally B roads. Um, so what do brown signs mean? You won't get many in this particular area, but... You... Um, oh, this might be stupid. Is it the brown ones, they normally have, like, attractions on them. Yeah, that's it, tourist attractions. So it could be, like, you know, Cadbury World or whatever, canals, any kind of stuff in Birmingham you get. And the yellow one, like that one, it's quite hard to see what that yellow sign mean. Um, generally. So it's going to, it's not always there, is it? No. Oh. Sign. I know it's you can't really see it now, but temporary, is it? yeah. What could, have, what could be there that's temporary? Because that's correct, but what is it? Um, maybe like they're doing some roadworks yeah, or something. Yeah, that's it. So it's often roadworks. So um, there are variations of those. There are some signs where the colour might be wrong or whatever, because the signs are only as good as it was designed to be. If they printed the wrong colour or whatever, it probably wouldn't be put up, but it can be. So we're going to do now more about directions and finding your own way, because the roundabout itself is good. So I want to get you doing this um, on your own. So, <laughs> this is the one we did before. This particular way we didn't do there, I just want to go over this because it's hard to actually ask you this on a move, it's too too, um, too awkward. This is quite a hard way we're going to go, I shouldn't say that actually puts you off, but um, you see on the floor it says, you can't really read that, but it says A435N, mm -hmm. Headley Heath, A435N, and that says all of the routes. So if you're going to Hollywood, as we are going to do now, which line would that be? Considering it doesn't actually say Hollywood, where would that be? Um, I think the middle one? No. no. Which one would Hollywood match? So it doesn't say Hollywood, which of those three would. <coughs> so you got A435N, A435N, and all of the routes. So it'd be the other ones? Yeah. Then. That's it, all of the routes. So the A road I was saying is the main road to Birmingham, up from south to Birmingham. So if yours isn't named, you think it's all of the routes. The problem is you've got one second to read that because you're going so quick on the approach and it's so late, so badly marked, you can't tell much. So from the right lane, where would you go? To the right. Yep, you see then it says Hollywood. I know you can't read that, it says Hwood on the floor. Mm -hmm. And when you can round, you'll see Hwood. You can barely read that, but you can read which one would say Hwood out of those. Which one doesn't say H wood? Because you can read it. That's it. it. That's good. So this just looks weird, but you go from all of the routes from right to right. You actually move straight to your left and come off. Because that middle one only goes where. No, which which way? So you can't read that well, but. Is that just going? That's that it. One? So all those must go that way. Should go that way. That way leaves you free to go over from there. So you got next to number three. It's weird this kid's a head, but it looks like a right. So I did last time I did the one where I said it's a head, but it's not quite a head. So this is gonna be you could call it right, I'm just thinking how you would say it's actually I'd say a head, third exit, I wouldn't say right, you could send a right, doesn't matter if you do, but I would do it from no signal, right to right, mm -hmm. checking the mirror cylinder, coming over. So you're going for exit three, you head for number two. So when you're coming over here, are you signalling left? Yeah, so you do mirror signal, move over and then leave and off you go. the signal on. Yep, that's it. Yeah. As long as you pass that road, because you don't want to see it now, otherwise people think you're going off there. Okay. So you go around, you go, it, it's awkward, this is why we're doing this one. You're going to go right, sit, mirror, sit up about there. Mm -hmm. That's good. If you choose to indicate right, you can. It's not right or wrong, because you can say it's hedge, you can say it's right. It depends how you see it. But if they see you not signaling in the right line here, they'll know you should be coming around to come yeah. off. Let's go and give that a go. There are other ways we didn't do before, which I want to try. That's the main thing for today, we just get this roundabout done. Because um, last time, this is really good, because normally you wouldn't be doing this till the next lesson, which is really good. We just got one lesson ahead of, of where we thought we'd be. Well, anyway, so, I'll leave it all up to you. Let's, uh, let's go and give that a go. If you're not sure of any of it, let me know, but I'll, just because I'm not going to speak at all, I won't be reminding you of anything. Okay. So I'm just going to put it on. It's actually quite hard for me to sit here and not say anything because it's, <laughs> it's tempting to want to speak. But. So, what I'll say is Hollywood. Okay. Oh, is this the one with the, where it's like got yep. the. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's good. That's it. 
So I think I will say it's a green sign so it's an A roads. Because I think all these are pretty well, not all of them, but most of A roads. That's it. That's good. Because if you didn't know that, you'd have no chance. There's no way you could tell that from the, the floor. That's good. That's good. That's perfect. So that's really good. That's it. That's good. Once you've seen it, it must be that one. If you wanted it or not, tough, because once you've seen it, it just had them going that way. So that's good. Uh, that was correct. That's good. You know, there was a little moped bike thing by the side of us. It's that stretched thing again. It's the third time I've seen that. That stretched um, vehicle. But yeah, that was really good. So we'll try that again and again, different angles. But if that goes well, that's great. That's good. Disappointing. <laughs> so they go next left. We'll try it again so you get to come down quite a bit. Uh, do you mean come down to second or? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Because this is, as you see, quite a bad one. It's safe to go over there because you can see ahead. But if you couldn't see like that driveway before we were talking about it, so that, that's so on edge, and that's what I said. That's it, so I've never seen any down here, but there can be some. If you are ready just to clutch down one if something comes around the other way quickly. That's good. So because you could see into the road, that's fine, but if you can't see in the road, that's where you might stop one and creep in. Okay. I won't give all this away, but there is one we're doing later on where you will have to do that maybe. But um this is just, it's all now about training for when you're on your own, you won't have someone telling you what's coming up. So next left where the barrier is, that's silver barrier. That's good. A lot of what we do know is about being ready to bring your own, because there aren't many topics left to do, you've done pretty much all of them, apart from crossroads and a bit of manoeuvring. So when you get around the bench, let me know what you're thinking about this road. Hmm. Uh, so it's just 30, but it's quite small. Which, which way does the road go here? Um, it's like to the right. That's it. How far can you see? Not, I That's can't it. Really see here you have to verge. Like <laughs> that's good, that's it. It's all park by that fence, the wooden fence. Okay. Well, not, not stop there, but all. Yeah. Yeah. Would you need? That's good, that's it. So, can we go through the road? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if you hadn't taken that precaution and you see someone coming off the roundabout now, you'd be stuck. And there is a massive ditch here side of the road. If you give watch a little, just so you know you can't put a wheel on the grass here because you'll be down the ditch. So, roundabout will go left. Expect anyone to come flying off, so what can we do about that? That's it, break, that's good. That's it. Not much you can do, but you can break and minimise impact. But it will be there for if they're flying off. That's good. Often know whose fault it is, it doesn't matter if you crash, you crashed. That's really good. So, same round about those before, but from a different angle. That's smooth. Yep. I'm too keen to move off the roundabout, I think. That's good. There we go. Next, same road before, right into Chapel Lane, then right again and pull up just behind that parked car. So right, right, and pull up behind the car. It's up to you to do. That's really good. I was hoping that would happen. That's really good. You saw that well. That's great. That's it. So right again, staying one's fine. Just right into it. This one here, this one here. That's it. So it's a sinner. So the back a little bit. So it's just right in right again. Just pull up behind the car. So if you do your hand back on now. I'm just going to come off my clutch and brake if you get your clutch down. That's it, so it's back over to you. And then we're going to pull up just behind that. Okay. If you go down that way, you can't go the way I want to go on the way. Right. Just want to creep a little bit. Probably no one else will come in, probably, but just in case anyone wants to pull it behind. That's good. That's it. Otherwise, you're going to hog the, uh, hog the car park. So we can leave this turn off, and that's fine. Just that's it. So this roundabout is going to go over again because on this one, <laughs> we could just do this without me going over it. But the thing is, then if it goes wrong, there isn't really time to talk about it when you're doing it. So 
But all I need to do is from here, we're going to come out this way. We're going to go right fourth exit. So how would you do that? Yep, coming that's up. it. Um, so I probably want to be in the right lane. That's it. Now, there's one thing you can't tell on this which will go over because the shadows are in the way. We go right to which lane? The right one. Yep. Now when you get here, the lane splits into two. <coughs> do you remember last time we said there's one way you shouldn't ever have to move? You shouldn't move right. Yep. Because what a lot of people get wrong here, this is what happened, um, was it last time I think we did here where a car cuts up on left and we said everyone always cuts everyone up here? This is one of the reasons why we had a white car, I think it was. So you go right to right, and then you go to the middle, because both the middle and the right, you can't see on here, but the middle and the right both go the same way. So you would only go to the right one from there, that's what it's for, they come out there to go like that, if needed. But even then, you don't have to. But we go right to right, to middle, to over, to off. This is one of the harder ways to do. If you don't know this road, there isn't much chance of doing it. Normally, as I said before, these are much better signed, much better marked, but this one is terrible. Um, so, I know it's, it's kind of like you think it's cheating trying to go over it all before we do it, but if I ask you when you go around, you've got no time to answer because there's no warnings at all. So, right to right to the middle of the two. Because you, you can go to the right, but then you're in the overtake lane when there's probably no one to overtake. So, not wrong, but you'd have to come off in the right lane and move back when there's no point in doing that. So, right to there, to there. And you turn that car head's angling now, so we just felt that car moves, so that car in front of us. That's how we're gonna do what we're gonna do in a moment, probably. We might go the other way, but you said they're, they're angled like that. It's, it's quite a sharp angle if you go right there. I just thought I mentioned that because it's all about angles and positioning this. So when they turn out, they just didn't hit the curb, it's very oh, tight. Okay, yes, so yeah. even if you're going right there, you have to point left, then turn. Right, we'll try that. You, you point left, but you are turning right. Because you could have gone things wrong, but it's all about positioning that we're doing now. So does that make sense? So now it's a bit of an awkward roundabout. Yeah, so yeah. right to right, then to the middle and that's then it. here left. That's it. Now, if you didn't know this, you don't have to, but you'll go in the middle and think, oh, it's two lanes, keep as far left as I can. But by the time I've even asked you or you've, or you've even said, it's gone, it, the, the road's so fast. So to try that, then there is another roundabout further on, which we haven't actually done before. And I'm not going to tell you anything about that one, because that one is signed how this one should be signed. I want to see if you can tell the difference um, between them. But you will, I mean, you can't fail to, but there's a massive difference in the way the sign. There's about three times as many signs. So. <laughs> Do you want me to go over this first one at all, or do you want to do it on your own? How to get out of I mean, like the, the, the roundabout. The roundabout. Uh, this I'll go over, because that's real. Try it. Yep. This can see me. That's good. Was it? This can seem obvious, I know, but if you don't do it well, you can either clip the curb, or it's just awkward. Yeah. So, point left. Imagine you go left, point that way, but then we go in right. Okay. Nothing saying you can't do that, so you can. Sometimes it might say no right turn or whatever, but that's fine. <coughs> right. So, that's up to you. I mean, I'll, I'll talk through a bit, but uh, the roundabout's up to you. That's fine, that's good. I, I, don't, I don't know what I was that's thinking there. I'm just worried that I did something yeah. wrong. This is a lot to take in, that's why we do all this quite a bit. So what we do is the mirrors in the right, clutch down roll, you know that kind of stuff. And then points in left, stopping dead. So, like that's it. Why do you think we stopped dead on this one? Because the car's come off that's it. Now you must turn right very fast all that, like on a three point turn. So when you do go, not yet when you do, really big turns to the right. Which way is the most dangerous to cars that could hear us? And where would that come from? That's it. So left is easy to see, right's pretty bad. But when you go, that's up to you. That's good. That's it. That's great. We will go, that's good. Just go, new big gas. That's good, big gas, gas, gas. That's good, and big turn. That's good, no problem there. That's why this road's at 40, because that car was doing 40, so that's good. If they were breaking the limit in 60 yard, we'd be in trouble. That's why you shouldn't break the limit. So, roundabout right, fourth exit. I won't go over it. It's the A435S. So, right lane, just right down. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's great, that's good. So right See, the lines are faded as well, that doesn't help. So that's that's good. That's it. Now middle and now left. That's it. Okay. Not just yet, round around, past this one. Head for that one, we past. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. So just keep left. Then you see the left. Off you go. So that one you can't move right because there's a white car's passing you moving right. You never move to the right. So you go middle, keep left, head left. Then you come off. 
If ever you go and ride, it's wrong. I don't know if you were to go to the right lane, wrong. So what's the speed now? Uh, very high then. Yep, yeah, let's go 17, let's go. 17. So that natural size just before the roundabout. Not too much now, that car's pulling in front. So that one you do right to right to middle to left. You never ever move right. So if ever you're moving right, you've got it wrong. That's, that's wrong. You can't really see the lines. No, like that's the problem. I know you can't see them, it's only because I've done this over and over again, I know. But the other one we're doing a bit, won't do just yet, but the other one, you'll see how much better it is when you get to the other roundabout. Okay, the main thing is you know what's going on, because just you move right there, that white car was going to pass, that's why I went for the wheel. Because if you don't see that, you could easily hit that, hit that car. So, second road on the left, towards the weather oak. This is what I did last time. That's it, down there, that's it, down this one. That's good. Because the other one you get one, two, the, the roads are right on top of each other. Next road on the right. So it's in this one if you can get it really low, no, no, you're really low, much more working. So I clutch down very early there, you don't need down to the right sort of here. And then next road on the right again. So that one going down the hill, you don't want your clutch down, it's going to be bright, 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 loads of braking, loads, loads, loads. And then the last second, then your clutch goes down. Because otherwise it feels quite soft, the braking. Now you did it, but it's not wrong, it's just that it can be better if you leave the clutch up. So, when you join the road, but as soon as you join, you're going to leave it and come off again. So you join, then leave straight away. So, gas, go for it, go, go, go. So what's going on behind us? Uh, yep, so flat out, go, 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 that's it. So you don't want to start that car down. When can we join? That's good. That's it. Yep, so it's in it. That's it. So that one behind went out before us, so you got a signal much earlier. So next left. And then what did you do now? That's it. That's it. That's it. Leave the clutch at a long time to clutch up. You don't want the clutch down to the bow, breaking harder, 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 harder. No, that's it. That is as good as I'm there was saying you go, 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 because that car was flying up behind. If you don't go flat out, that car went out before we did. That means we could have gone earlier. So you sort of do mirror signal, get out, go. If you go faster, it's much, much safer then. That was quick, but if you go even quicker, it's much safer. Next road on the right where that car's coming from. Again, doing it is not the problem, it's sort of doing it and fitting in with other people. So no matter how long can you leave the clutch up for? Oh, ages, but That's I'm it, that's good, that's fine, that's good. That's good. It's only the other one, you might not have it looked like you had your clutch down earlier. No, I didn't. No, that's good. I always want to, but I remember not to. So, good. What effect does that have on your car if you do it too early? <coughs> so it means it's really hard for me to brake. That's like it. The, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's it. So the, the brakes on their own, just the brakes, you've got no other assistance. Whereas when your clutch is up, <coughs> the engine helps slow down. And the faster you go in, the more you'll feel that effect. Do you remember the name of that? There's a name for that technique. There was, is it engine yeah. brake? That's it, that's it. So your engine's helping you brake. You've got that now when you come off the gas there, the engine slows you down. If you just went clutch down then, you just roll and roll and roll. You would eventually slow down because of gravity, but not as much. Are we going right now? Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, the lines, yeah. yep, that's, that's good, yeah, so. If you had gone that way, that would be a left turn. That's why I don't say as much about bad directions, bad directions. So if I don't say, you just follow the road. End of the road, we'll go right. Sam's a sat nav, Sam and test, whatever. If ever he doesn't say anything, it's uh, following the road. So it's going to be back to the roundabout we did just now. It is very awkward, so again, most you see in the future are nowhere near, no, no, nowhere near this awkward. But this again is back over to you just for the moment. That's good, because could you come out too, do you reckon? Is there a chance? Yes. Yeah, that's really good. Because you never said in the past, don't come out too, but now you can because that's open. And it's, uh, yeah, that's good you saw that. So roundabout right, fourth exit. Same as we did just now, but don't move to the right. Yeah, once you're on the roundabout. I still want so much less I need to do, because I just want to see if you can, can get it's good. That's because you didn't go, because if they're not signaling, where are they going? They're coming wrong. That's it. So now I'll do this one. Okay. That's good, that's great. Okay, so right to the right lane. Yep, if you can see it, it's all faded away. And now stay now middle. That's it, middle. But just don't move right, so okay, right's not so on, looking left. 
Move the left, no, move it over. Uh, okay. That's good. That's it, then it's signal. I know that seems wrong, but it's not. That's the way you do it. It's just the way it is. It's more natural to want to go to the right because you're going right, but then, like the silver and the black card is, that's for them going that way. So what's the next hazard now? Oh, sorry, it's gone. So I was going to say a green truck, but he's, he's turned off. I thought he was, it has lights on, but he must have been signalling. So second left again. Now I won't sandwich, so I'm just going to go over the thing about the braking on the hill, but apart from that, it's up to you. That doesn't count, no. That's, it's the second one towards Weather Oak. What does that diagonal line tell you about the road? That it's, oh, um, so it's not like straight, so I can, I don't have to change the yep. down gear. That's right? it, that's good. That's it. So, on this one, we could do sort of mirror cinevite as early as like. No, because then we can't rejoin the road. So just break on its own. You don't want the clutch at all. It's at least we pass that bit of rubbish is on the side, the, the pavement. So still good without the clutch. Still good, still good. More brake still. Still good, still good. Still good. Clutch down two. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Slowly off them all. Lots of big turns. That's good. That's great. And then next ride again. That's my spinner. And back over to you. That's good. So there isn't this time, just imagine there's a car right behind us now, what would you do? And that's it, so go through it, that's good. That's it. Yeah, we're not letting them sort of bullets out of the way, but if you don't, it's annoying for them if, you, if you're not pushing. So just keep forward, flat down, right down, all that go. Yeah, build and build and build and build. And we, not fifth, which gives better. That's it, so they're about the power, that's it. So you got the power to go up the hill. So we did the move us in a little bit earlier. That's good. So when could you join on the lines, when's that going to be? That's good, that's it, that's good. Yep, that's great. And then we'll go next left again. Oh. That was a lot better. So again, back over to you, I won't be saying too much. So a slight jump, only very slight, but what does that tell you? Uh, not slow enough. That's it. Not that bad because you're not like banging, it's not revving on that, but it's a little bit quick. That's it. So next road on the right, but it's good. It's just get it's, to get it spot on with no jumping is very hard. That's what we aim for, but it takes often a lot of time after you pass to do that. Getting past. They that's it. Are okay with that's it. Jumping. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Just like breaking more, though breaking, 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 breaking. Slow enough. That's good. See, that is fine. That's 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 good. What you don't want, that's fine. That's just the, that's the drink of it. That's not the question. If you go have that drink of it, it goes bang. But you don't want to feel the bang, but you should, you, you can hear it, but you don't want to feel it is the best way of putting it. To get nothing at all is very hard. Can, when you take your test, the point isn't to pass and that's it, that's not the end of it. That's when you start, you know, start driving on your own. But the test isn't the end, it's like the half, well, it's not even a halfway point, it's probably like the 10% way. If you look back in two or three years after you pass to how you drive now, you won't be the same probably. So it hopefully still be as good, but it's a, you know, you'll be much more used to it on not jumping, not getting the gears jumping. Yeah. But you can spend ages working on that, but it doesn't really matter at all. You know, just come with a bit of practice. Compared to getting the wrong line is much more important. So when I pull up on the left, somewhere just around his hedge quite soon. Okay. So, like here. That's good. So when I bring in one new top in a very simple list, it doesn't take long to go over, but I just want to go over this for now. Um, anything else on there you want to go over for now that, that we haven't mentioned? Uh, no, that roundabout no. was a bit confusing. Yep. Now that roundabout, um, that's just, it's an awkward one. We are going to do the other one quite soon, about uh, half, well, 20 minutes from now, not less. We're going to do the other one. The other one is much better signed. You'll have a sign on the floor here, another one where the people are, another one further on, and there's big signs here, here, saying which line goes where. It's much, much better. Because um, I want to do that to show you how they're not all as bad as this one that we're doing now. But when you get to the end of the road, let's grab this board. Uh, board. Um, <coughs> up to now, we've always had the junction like this, where you get the end of the road, and there's been a, a set of lines like that. But apart from that, what else can you have? There's one of the main kind of junction we haven't mentioned yet, we haven't done yet. We mentioned it on the, the second or third lesson. So you can have <coughs> like a Y junction, but not that one, different 
Yep, what else is there as well? There is a wire, but there's another kind. Of, what kind of line could there be apart from that? So, if it's like a not dotted, what else would it be? I don't, right? Now, could sure. you can be a bar zone, yeah, you don't get those around if you can be like a bike area, mm -hmm. so that's a good one, but what would it be on those, like, not give way, <coughs> but what is a, apart from give way, is any one of the main kind of, of junction you can have. If I draw that, sure. there's a solid, what's that mean? And there'll be a word on the floor, if I draw that in, it'll give it away, but there'll be a word <coughs> on the floor as well. Yeah, that's it. So what would you say on the floor if you've got to not go over? Oh, so no entry, is it? No, no, that's stop. Way. So stop. 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 So you give rain stop. And the sign you get as well, what the sign looks like? Well, we haven't done this, but any idea what that would look like? Um, it's an, is it a hexagon or octagon? It's one of the two, and it's red. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's good. It doesn't matter if you don't know exactly, because you know, as long as you know it's red. It's an octagon, but it's good you said that, because a lot of people say hexagon. Um, it doesn't really matter if it was a hexagon, I mean, it shouldn't be, but if it says stop, you know, it's red, stop sign. So it might sound obvious, but what must you do on a stop sign that you don't normally have to do? You have to actually, like, stop. Yep. Yeah. so this is where we don't creep. You can creep after you've stopped, but not initially. So this might seem really obvious, but um, I'm just going to demonstrate briefly now what this is. What you do, because um, lots of people mess up on this, just wait for this thing to go past, actually. Is that like a big winner bag or something? <laughs> Looks like a mobile library. But when they've gone past, um, I'll demonstrate that. Because they will get through, but they're quite, uh, quite wide. That shows you parts well as well, because if that can get through, anything can get through. So, <laughs> if I go into one now, um, just to be clear, this is what doesn't count as a stop, because it's what loads of people do, drivers on tests and non tests, whatever, mess up on this. They get to a junction to do this, they're breaking a bit like that. And like that, this doesn't kind of stop it. Though I'm not going much at all, so I'm still moving. I mean, careful that thing behind. But what you must do is stop dead, like that. No moving at all. There must be no rotation in the wheel. Okay. Do you have to put the hand back on or not? You don't have to. No, nope, that's good. But the one we do, you probably will, just because I know. Why would I know? Maybe if I come off the brake. Um, because the road's like sloping a bit. Yeah. So there we very slightly went back there, not much at all, but you did a tiny bit. So you don't have to, but you can if you want, that's okay. But what you can't do is this, you can't still get there and then you say, well, so stop, okay, that isn't stopping. You must be stopped, dead. Handbrake, you know, if you need it, and then go. So why do you think that is? What's the point of a, a stop sign? Um, there must be <coughs> something, like, for some reason it wants you to actually, like, kill your speed completely. It wants yep to stop maybe because you have to look like maybe you can't see very that's well. it that's good so <coughs> on this one you normally only get stop signs where there's been a lot of deaths just so you know normally it's not in this country i don't think they do it but some countries the way there's like 10 deaths then they put a stop sign up um but i don't think this goes here but you know it's really bad so imagine when you're there it's a bit like if ever you've had a cat but not a cat hides under a table and I think you can't see them. You can see the feet sticking out, but I think you can't see them mm -hmm. because you can't see the eyes. So they can't see you. As like we're there, you can only see as far as maybe here. But the ones way back here can see your bonnet from much further back. So it gives them a clue. If someone's there, you know, be ready because they can't see. Right. So you only get them normally when there's really bad stops, uh, really bad, not bad stop signs, when there's really bad junctions, really bad views. Um, we won't go this too much now. This comes in more probably the one after next. We'll be doing crossroads. But there's a stop there, and if they say crossroads there, does a stop have any more right of way than a, a give way or not? Like, do, do you have to wait longer because you have a stop, or is it equal priority or, or what? I'd, I'd imagine with these it would be equal. Yep, that's good. So some people say with a stop, you've got to wait for everyone to go on a give way, then you go, it doesn't mean anything. You can stop, then it becomes the same as normal, which we haven't done yet, I know, but that comes in later on. So, I want you to let me know as soon as you see the stop sign. Um, if you don't stop there, just so that you can, you're not going to today, but you can get given three points in the fine because it's the same as going through a red light because it is a stop. Okay. You know, it's the same thing. So is that like an instant <coughs> fail on your testing? Yeah, that's it. If you know what I mean, you know all about testing, but that's good, yeah, because if you do that, you would be fouled because you're breaking the law. Um, it isn't just to be wrong, it's breaking the law. Okay. Um, so stop, you know, means stop dead. 
So let me know when you see, it might be soon, it might be half an hour, I'm not going to say, but let me know when you spot it. There aren't many of these in Birmingham at all. In fact, if you think of all the areas we've covered, this is the first one we've ever come across. So they're quite rare around here, but well, let's give that a go. Some countries like America, you know, they're everywhere. Because this license you're getting covers you for to, to drive worldwide. It's okay. the same signs all over the world. So in America, I think when I went there, pretty much everywhere you stop, stop. I don't think they, they don't really have give way there at all. Oh, right. They have like a yield, you kind of yield. Maybe we should not give way, but I remember saying to my friend driving me around, there's hardly any, hardly any you know, give ways at all. Yeah, that's strange. Right. I think we didn't, I went to Denmark, I can't remember now, but there's one place I went and they had all these stops on. Anyway, so let's see where we can go. What needs to be done for that car? That's good, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's great. I should have done that anyway because of the that's bend. It. That's good, that's it. This road being quite narrow, and we've had quite a few big things come down here. But yeah, so, I don't really like driving abroad because when I go on holiday, I don't really drive. But if you do drive abroad, um, you know, it's the same, the same rules apply. So, end of the road, we go right. Now, last time, do you remember we came out in second on this one? Yes. It may or may not work again. That's up to you. Depends what you can see. I'm not going to speak. Which gear you know? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I was in third. Oh, I was in okay. third. So you can't go in three. It is clear you can go, but you can't go in three. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was in second. Yeah. That was stupid. So roundabout right, fourth exit. We'll go down a bit, but we're going to get it done for now. I won't so much. It's up to you again. Just want to see if you do this well. Could you run onto this roundabout in third, do you think, or not? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Is it possible though? No, nope. that's good. That's it. I'm not too sure. That's great. That's it. It's good you didn't go before because that was a bit tight. They are going quite slow, but if they did go faster, that would be better. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's great. That's perfect. That's good. Yeah, it's better not to take a chance and take a chance it isn't there. So we maybe could have gone before the black one, but you have to assume they're going to speed up. But they didn't. Okay, so um, towards the weather oak again. That's right, that's right. You don't have to go three five. You can go three four five. Doesn't matter. There's no rule like what you can and can't do. It's whatever works best at the time is good. Yeah, we had a car coming out of the garage the wrong way. The car was coming out of the entrance there. I don't know where they're going, but... Okay, so yeah, weather work. That's one reason I'm... Where's that car going? Is that black one? I thought he was going off, he's not. That's one reason I'm not saying risk. It's easy when I don't speak sometimes. So next right, and this time, once you've turned, just follow that road. See how good this can be with the, uh, the brake. That's good, that's all, that's good, that's it. What made you go one there, though? Uh, oh, they should, they have to wait for me. That's it. They? So straight on this road. Okay, they don't have to, but they can say, not run that, you can let them go, nothing was behind us, we're not slowing them down. But you don't have to let them go, you can just go around if you want. Because a few times before when you did that, you almost cut the corner, just a little bit. So that's why, if you get used to cutting them, it's bad, because then you get used to cut, cutting them and the car comes up smack. What do you think about this road? It's so spending. What will the speed be? Um, 30. No. Ooh, actually, I'm not sure. What do you reckon? I want to say 30, but then there's been lots of roads like this where it's actually been like higher. So if it wasn't 30, what would it be? 60. Yep, yeah, and it is 60 something. So, national official 60 is national, but you know, for a car, that's good. Yep, so it's still the same as on the fast road, the, um, the dual carriageway. Because there's been no change in sign, no speed signs. The weather's changing again, but yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily do 60, of course, but that's what it is. It is summer, believe it or not. But if it was a like a sunny summer's day, you could maybe do more. But do you remember we said the summer you must be able to do at all times? Like whenever you're driving, you must always be able to do something. 
So then we had to stop to braking a bit. That horse braking, 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 really slow. Did you have a horse last time? Um, no. no. So braking, 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 braking. So Down to two. Second. That's it. And there's no pedals at all. So it cruises on its own. That's it. That's good. Yes, yeah, so n no gas, nothing. Because what scares horses is noise, so you go wide, slow and quiet. It's harder if you come up behind them because they don't see them, but that's really good. So there's a good example there, we sound it's 60, but if you're doing 60, you'd have a surprise if you see that horse there. And then just smooth the accelerator away. That's good. It's a good point now, because if you do throw a rider off, if you go fast, throw them off, you're in big trouble. Because that happened when I was learning to drive years ago, someone did that, I remember. And, uh, you know, the paralyzer and the rider. Yeah. They terrify me. <laughs> okay, so 30, and that's going to be the end of the road, I think. That's it, and at the end we'll go right. Okay. Well, it's, uh, that's it, that's good. It's good, just pass that, so that's oh, quite hard. Stop. That's it. So, one tip is don't burn much at all, just a little bit, but not much. Mm -hmm. Clutch down early. I know we said down before, but we roll down now. And then, not much back at all, just roll and roll and roll. Get right before the line. Break it about no, that's really good. And then stop, and that's it. And then from there, just what you normally do. We're going straight. Right. Oh, yeah. So right, it, but sorry. what's wrong? What needs to be done? Oh, that's it. That's it. So the one end, if we creep a little bit, they'll probably wait for us. Well, they may be not. Let's see. Yep. So we creep a little bit. And then when can we go? The big turns right. Yeah, that's good. Can we go after this? Yeah, that's good. That's fine. That's good. That's why it's a stop sign. See why it's a stop because it's, uh, it's quite bad. But the man ahead, he just saw went okay. I you weren't saying on the video, but he was going and nodded saying okay. What there was making me say we'll go before him. It wasn't that we were rushing, but why? Why were we probably going to go before him? You know, we were there first, so it doesn't always work, and we'll do some crossroads lessons more. But we were there before them. He wasn't racing around, so it was good. So, what could be on this road that was on the other road? Maybe a horse. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe a that's it. Because if you can't see, you must be able. The thing we're saying for, you must be able to stop on the road you can see. So, if you brake hard now, you'll just about be able to stop. When the view gets better, maybe speed up. It's up to you. Still some nice stuff. But um, yeah, that's up to you. It's whatever speed is appropriate for the conditions. What is it you don't like about horses? Or is it not when you drive them, you just like... No, just I, I don't like them anyway. Yeah. No. They're too big. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it is. I just, mm, no, I just don't like them. Yeah. No. If in a car, it's all right, but so, <laughs> we don't have to deal with them. So, what's happened to the view? So, now I can yep, see That's good, better. that's it. But it's actually the worst time you have to do this because you got their heads kind of overgrown or the grassy growing up. So we're we'll just keep working on the roundabouts. We're going to look at the other one we mentioned before, which is a much better example. Um, I'm just going to give you some directions now. It's up to you to do them. Um, I want you to follow the sign. There won't be one just yet. But when you get to the roundabout, there'll be a sign for. It's a place called Earlswood and Solihull. And Solihull is more better marked than the other one. So if you follow Solihull. It will say shawl on the floor, S hole, like an abbreviation. But that's up to you to work it out. If you're not sure, let me know. I'm just going to do the heat a bit. But um, otherwise, it's up to you. Break a little bit, that's good. That's it, that's good. This could be because they weren't moving, this could just say they could move but they didn't, so that was just in case they didn't move at all. So which way is it? That's good. That's great. Which exit number? That's it. So it's up to you. I oh, won't so much unless I have to. That's good, that's great. It's a nice smooth approach there. That's it. Just looking at the floor, which one? That's good, that's it. And this is three, is it? Yep, and this is all the other. That's good. Okay. 
that's it, that's really good. Yep, yeah, is that car going to undertake? No, shouldn't and didn't, but if you did, deal with that. What so was your... Go around again. That's it. Yeah, you might have to sort of send the light come off next one. That's really good. So that's spot on there. So next left. So it's a little bit slow still because it's got to be not quite getting the speed down enough. It's got to be. Can we go? It's got to be really, really slow then too. So if we go into road right. So this back to you for now. We're just going to pull up and go over that thing in a bit. That's a dumb place to park your car. <laughs> That's good. Now that was really good there because. If you think of AKM2, you couldn't, because that would never work. That was really good. It's all coming down to one roll, roll. That's good. What was it that made the other one possible to come out second? The one I know we missed second right before. Third, yeah. That's it. But what made that possible to so do that? I can see really well. That's it. We go next left. It's very rare you'll ever get one that good, so that's quite unusual where you get around here. Because you know, in some areas, people might say, well, I've got loads of them around here, but around here in Birmingham, you don't only really get many open roads. I'm going to show you something now, which is a bit. Um, a bit odd, very unusual, but it's good practice. So we're going to pull up somewhere safe. If I just need to, I need to pull up. No, I won't pull up, we'll carry on, because we don't need to pull up, we do on the move. Okay. So end of the road will go right. I know that test we're going on the right thing where we have someone in the back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that exam they're doing, that's got a horse, so don't say anything about it, horses. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's good. What's the problem with this? I can't really yep. see. If you can't see, it's going to put a window sort of here. Now at the end of this road something's wrong, I want you to tell me what's wrong, it, you can stop and have a look at this if you want because it's quite a very quiet road, but at the end of the road we're going to go left, but what's wrong about this? Oh, sorry it's gone now, sorry, it's not wrong anymore, so I'll tell you what it is in a bit. I'm just going to check something in the right road, I think it's the right road. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's a that's gone. While there is there, someone had put a stop sign up on the post, they just put it up in, there was like a few roadworks when I'm around here the other week mm. and they left the stop go sign and someone put it up in the hedge, it looked like a stop sign, but it wasn't, you could tell because it wasn't the right shape, it was like a, um, it was like a square, uh, you, well it's hard to explain, it was an octagon but it wasn't the full size, it was a weird looking one, so it said stop, you had to give way line on the floor, it was a bit confusing, so Shannon that's gone, end of the road, we'll go left. So I went to summit again, again, the idea is how you get more used to being independent. Now those chances are much better to tell you haven't missed any, I don't think at all. So that's been really good. Now we're going to do, go and do the roundabout that we mentioned before, which is a little bit different. So one little thing, it's every now and it looks like looking at the gears every now and then. So oh, just got to yeah. make sure you don't know. That's got a lot better though, it's just I know a few times it's not looking. So behind us, see if you notice then, that was hard to Behind that car's coming out there, they went mad, they was overtaking so while I'm mad there. So expect the one behind to drive like a maniac. Maybe they won't, but they were swerving all over the place then. So we're going to go ahead, second exit. It's up to you. The one behind that car, I think it was just swerving a bit. Normally left. That's it. That's good. That's it. That's good. You might steal them, but I don't want to risk you with that car coming behind. It's busier this one because you've got two rows to give way to, or two together. So that's why I don't get the right angles. You can go, but you've got to be really quick to go there. But when can we go? Yep. 
That's good. That's great. That's good. That's it. That's it. That's good. Loads of bikes. Is this one going to be in the way? If you just sit in the left, no. It's back a little bit. That's it. And then roll. That's it. I don't know what's going on. They're all going to come out in one go. Yeah. This is obviously a weird situation to be in, so <laughs> I'll just take over the pedals for a little bit. Yeah, they're in some kind of convoy there, is it? I'm just going to move off after this last bike. Let's creep away now. That's good. That's it. That's a very unusual situation to be in, but there's some kind of mod creepers in there. Yeah, I've seen that before. There's like uh, the other month for last year actually. There's like a biker funeral, uh, one biker blocked the road, and there's like you know, hundreds of bikes pouring out his funeral home. But um, they don't. Should they not have waited for me? They should, but yeah, they didn't. So right. if we'd have carried on, we'd just cause more trouble. But that's that's a good example there of where you know sometimes people don't always uh, follow the rules. I thought the first player who came out of a mistake was going when he shouldn't have, mm. but no, he was blocking the road. Yeah, the, the one, we're going to go straight now by the way, past where you normally turn off. The one there where, um, what was I going to say now, uh, the car overtook us. They can do that, but you've got to be really quick to go in there, because they never said he was driving like quite fast. Yeah. Um, you could have gone, but you've got to be really, really quick, so don't worry about that, because that's quite a small gap. It's better not to go than to risk it and get it wrong and stall and crash. So, we're now going to follow Eve Shum. Just let me know which way you've shown me, but this is the one which is much, much better signed. So um, let's have a look at it. You won't see it just yet, but let me know when you see. I can see the thing, but I can't read it. That's good. Which way was it on that sign? So straight on, because he's on that side back there. So it's breaking a bit, because these lights could change. You haven't done ones with lights before. Can we get through? Yep, so drop to third. That's good, down to third. It's a head third exit. So stay in this lane. Whatever you do, don't come off the next one. You can't go that way, because it's a motorway. So follow around where the white car's gone. Okay. This is correct, it looks wrong when it's correct. And next one's ours. So indicate. That's good. Again, this will go over in a bit. So breaking a bit, just in case they change. Yeah, breaking, breaking, breaking. More, more, more. That's good, much more, much more. That's good, that's it. No gears, that's why I'm just leaving gears. That's it, stop, wait, stop, stop, stop. That's it then, the gear. That's good. Just because the man that gets to stand the road, brake, stop, mm -hmm. then one. You can do one, but there's no point in doing one and then skidding over the line or, or whatever. So you just all wait, one, and then go. That's good. Okay, that'll explain more in a bit, but this is more what we're going to do next week. Next week's going to be a little bit different to normal, I'll tell you at the end, but uh, nothing bad, it's just different, kind of different bits of town, or bits of the country. That's good, that's it. Now we're going to follow signs for Port Way, so P-O-R-T, Way, Port Way. Uh, just let me know when you see those and which way it is. Okay, the speed will come in time, now that car, you can easily go faster than them, doesn't matter. That will come in the more practice we do. But which way? Um, coming that's it, so diagonal line, what's that mean? That's it. That's good. Now, if you keep well towards the right when you come off, okay. that's it. One needs to come off now. Yep. So, next right, what do you assume? If you can't see where that is, what do you have to assume? Um, so, that's just sitting right now, and that's it, breaking it up really hard, hard, hard. Much more, much, much more. Clutch steer. That's it. Because he's quite unsighted out of the view, he's quite bad. That's it. That's good. So we're going to pull up on this bridge here, just on the left. That's good, that's it. It's been a very quiet road around here, so that's okay. Yeah, so I had to help a little bit there, because you don't get much time to, uh, to answer on that one. Yeah, so, I see the sign. The diagonal line, what does that mean, first of all, when you get diagonal? It means, it's like a slip road. Yep, yeah, that's it. Yep, so it doesn't always mean slip road, but it normally does. So slip road, you key going, come off at speed and break. Um, the other one, next week, I won't say what we're doing just yet, but that's going to be more, more next week about, um, I don't want to say it till the end, but that, well, next week's going to be a bit different. Um, the sign, you just said, Port Way Ahead, third exit. But there's something about that one again, I can't show you the book for copyright stuff, but normally I'll show this book. I'll show this at the end, maybe when we stop filming. But, um, just back up there. Um, you have on this one, 
I'm not sure what the sign are that. Now there are lots of signs, eh? you, you, having said it's easy to see and there are lots of them. But you add, it's similar like this. If I remember, it's similar, so it looks a bit like that. So you've got the line, the road you're on there, it's always, the road you're on is always that bottom one from there. You add a little line there, and then you notice you had like a stump, like that. And then you had the longer one there, and then you had the Evesham there, something like that. The others I won't draw in, but it looks like that. So it looks like fourth exit, but was it not the fourth exit? So that thin one, we don't count. Not the thin, which, which one wouldn't you count though? And this is quite difficult to explain, but there is a, a reason why one of those doesn't count as a road, as an exit. Because you know we all say third exit, which of those isn't an exit? Oh, it must be the short one. Yeah, because what, well, I know it's hard without seeing the sign, but what was that? Because it was blue. Oh, there you see the sign in the right there distance. Motorway. Yeah, so the motorway, you've got where you join and where you leave, so you can't, that isn't an exit there. Um, so, yeah, so I joined the wrong way around. <laughs> so, that makes more sense. you got the one there, where you can go off, mm -hmm. and that's, most, that's better, that's why it looks a bit weird. The one there where you can't go off because it's not an exit, they can go off the motorway, you can't go off there and join the motorway, because that's the wrong way around. So you go one, two, not that one, three. Now stumps don't always mean that, this is what's really confusing. There's no definitive way of saying it's because there are signs where you get a stump and you can go that way. Some, it's just the way it is. Um, we will explain some more at the end of when we get the book and I can show you that. But, um, that's what you do. So you go one, two, not that one, three. Most motorways are the same, so this one would be um, the other way, and that's how I should have drawn it. So that one, and then that one there. So you can't go off that way. It should be obvious, because if you do, you'd be driving the wrong way down the motorway towards everyone else. Um, like on this one here, if you join the road and everyone's coming towards you, you know you're doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, that's how it should be. So you had this one, um, I don't think it was signed on the first one, because it's a little country lane. That was the M5 and then the A435. Um, on that one there. But this is more confusing. And next time, I won't say just yet, but next time, we're going to do more things about this because it's all building up to that. Um, but anything in particular that you want to go over that we've done so far? Any roundabouts or any directions we've done or anything at all you want to go over? Um, no, I just wish I'd seen that one because. We'll do that one again. Let's go back. But yeah. as to roundabout, what's different about that other one as well? We haven't had that before. No, there was something on the roundabout that made us yeah, stop. Seemed... Oh, so all the bikes? Not the bikes, what else? The bikes were one thing, but what, what was the that made us stop? It seemed easier about it than yeah. before. Why is that? Because there is a reason why it can be easier or harder, but what was the made us stop? When you went round, you had to stop halfway around. That we don't normally have on roundabouts, you would never normally get them on the roundabouts we've had so far. Uh, no, I'm not sure. That red light, they had lights on the roundabout, because oh, yeah. you don't normally have lights on the roundabout. They can make it easier because they control you better, but that can make it harder, because imagine trying to do Beckett's farm and you're trying to change lanes and the lights change as well. Mm. Um, that could be awkward. There aren't many I can show around here, that's the only one anywhere around here I can show like that. But what can happen is you look in the mirror, the light's going red, so you've got to prioritise where you're looking, which is hard because it depends on what's happening as to where you're looking. But you're also in braking, braking, so you see the car belt, we're not going to go through, we're braking, 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 and stopping. Anyway, so, yeah, do you want to go try that one again? And then, um, We'll have time to go around here, come back, come back up, and then I'll be about it for today. Okay. Um. It isn't an excuse as well, but this time, you know, why is it harder to see signs like that one there ahead? It's like, I was thinking maybe, because it's like bright. Yeah, so. what else is wrong? What, what's... And then shadows. Yeah, what else is wrong? That's good, but what else is oh, in the, the summer? Hedges, yeah, yeah, that's it. So they're all kind of overgrown, can't see them as well. So it's a reason and an excuse, because sometimes you really can't see them. So we're going to follow Birmingham, which way is that? Um, to right. That's it. Because you're not actually in Birmingham now, this is out of Birmingham, so it's... Uh... It's good. I'll leave this up to you because I want to see if you can, uh, if you can do all this. Just on so one. That's good. Now this road you're on now, what's kind of weird about this, do you think? It so might, it's quite hard. There's loads of cars on the... No, that's it. Like, well, not the wrong side, yep. in the way. Is it one way or two way? Um, I think it must be two ways. Yep, that's it. So, the thing is that you can only come the other way if you've come this way first. So, you can only drive down, you stop, turn around and come back. So, any of these would know that a car is likely to be on the wrong side of the road. 
because normally this would be mad to be on this side of the road but you can't come in from the end like you can't come in off the dual carriageway it's like it's angled so you can't get in you could if you really wanted to but you'd have to force your around so what's happening now so now we're joining yeah, that's good that's so that's it the wind can be joining yep that's good a blind spot anyone there that's good. So now you're certainly on your way doing the blind spot so much, we're going to try and put that in. Lots of signs here, there's so many signs you can't read them all. But which way is Birmingham? Uh, okay, uh, up straight. Yep, yeah, which section number is that? Two. That's it, because you've got the stumps, so it's one, two. It looks like three, but it's two. So, straight. That's okay. it, that's good. good. Just start Beckett's farm. This is a point to show you how you could do different roundabouts without having to know them. That van's got over the line there. I've got two. That's good. So which gear? Oh, two. That's it. Two. That's it. That's good. That's great. It's good to look as well there. Looking to look. That's good. So the lights could change. So anyone behind us? Yeah. Yeah, they've already changed. So just like normal lights are going to change. Yeah. 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 Because you never say no, so you could change, right? So, can we get through? Yeah, that's good, that's it. And then what do we need to do? That's it, that's good. That's it, that's good, that's fine. It's good you put it back on as well to make it clear. Now, looking ahead, there's a sign here saying max speed 50. How is that different to most speed signs you've seen before? Um, most... They're, they're in a circle. That's it. So, because that's not in a circle, what does that mean different? Circle is like you have to do it. That's it. Is this more like recommended? Then? Yeah, that's it, that's good. That's really so one of the first times anyone's ever got that right. Yep, so you don't have to, it's advisory. If you don't know the road, don't ignore it. But this one, if it was dry, you can actually do 70 quite easily on this road. And in this car, I mean, it would be fine. So, yeah, you don't want to ignore them just so I forget it, but you don't have to do it if you can see a good reason not to. That's really good. So we're now going to go um, round about right fourth exit towards Solihull, like we did before. That's good. So you get lots of gas. I can't be honest, go faster. Loads of gas. Push, push, push. That's in maximum power. That's good. Just keep pushing, 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 pushing. Just because that car behind was coming quite quick. We're not in the way, but they were going fast. That's good. You're saying to the car behind, we've seen you, we're, we know you're there, we're not going to slow you down. But what else could you do now to tell them you're going to go, that's it. See that, look, that's why we change lanes. That's why you're telling that car. That's good. That's good. That's it, it's good. Can we go? That's good, that's really good. That's it. Okay, so that's two, yep. three, one more after. Four, that's it, four for us. So, yeah. That's good. Yep, that's great. We're going to look at this thing about getting down second speed as well. That's just a little thing we need to do. So, it is about to slow down more, but if you lift the clutch slower, it doesn't matter. So, I'll try and show you, if you did not miss cast at all now, I can't the car behind. If I do this one for you, if you go next left, I'm going to brake like this. So I brake, 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 clutch, brake, brake, brake. There, too smooth, and go. So that one you don't feel anything. That's because I'll slow down more. It's before you were doing it a bit too early. Um, if we go into the road, uh, right. Doesn't really matter where we go. But so back over to you, and we're back in second. Who's coming out? Oh, that's good, yeah, sorry. That's good. So I thought meant I called the lights on them. That's good, good you saw that. A bit of braking just in case. It's because we're used to on fast roads to back roads, so oh, yeah, it's yeah. easier to go okay. fast than... Okay. Them. And sometimes like, you might not be speeding over the limit, but it's just it's too fast for the conditions. You can actually be doing something wrong if you're not going over the limit, if you're just going too fast for the conditions. So end of the road, we go uh, right. So we go back and look at that roundabout where the Evesham sign was, and then uh, give that a go. Yep, 
That's good. If you can't see, what did you say you could do apart from seeing? Um, How was can you see what's coming? Yeah, but also if you can't see, what would you do? Invite anyone? What other sense have you got you can use? Oh, you can hear. That's it, so I'll put the window down. Well, um, you can also, you can hear much better. Because this car has got really good insulation, so when the window's open, you can hear a lot more. That's good. Have you got time to pass this white car, do you think, or not? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that's good, that's good, you're there. That's good because it's quick, but it's not erratic. Because when you're running on a fast road, a lot of people tend to floor in race and swerve. Not the one behind when I said that black car was flying down the road. What he was doing, he was doing about 40 on the third zone, and then someone turned left and he swerved right around him on the wrong side of the road to get around him. Instead of braking, like we're talking about now, mm -hmm. I braking and coming down to two, he just went swerving around. If no one's behind, we'll try coming down to second on this road because he's pretty clear behind. Just trying to brake it, we're not going to turn him, imagine you were. So break in, break in, break in. This won't confuse them there, okay. And then clutch down to pedals off. Yep, and off you go. That's much better. Do so you feel nothing at all? That's what you want. So it's mainly about getting the speed down more, and we get the speed down less, should say. And then they yeah, clutch up, that's good. Clutch up smooth. So roundabout left, we haven't done going left on this one for a while, so left first exit. It's up to you again, let's see how good he goes. That's good, yes. that's great. Yep, yeah, that's fine. It's not the one in front of me can have slow down a little bit. That's what I said to you about go, but you don't have to go around. If you want to, you can. If you need to, you can. <coughs> but um, it's up to you. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's it. Oh, yeah, because they haven't, that's, that's good. That's it. Because they haven't really sped up at all, that car. That's good. Why would you not come back just yet? They're not too close, but what's, what's going on in front, maybe? So if I, if I have to overtake them again, yeah. that would be That's silly. It's like that garage. If I don't come out of the garage, you wouldn't want to come back in, but no one there, so can we get back in? Yeah. That's good. You may end up going around the wild one, but that's a good thing, and it's just that garage is what I was thinking of. Do you know before that car come out the wrong way, it came out the entrance to the garage? So if so, I know you know which way it is now, but let me know when you see the sign. If you want, you can, Mr. Jim. Just go, go for it, that's good. Now, I know it's ahead from before, so have a look at the floor, which line goes ahead. And where is the sign as well, this is Evesham. Oh, that's yeah, it, that's, that's it. Okay. So, which line's best? That's a left line, is it? So I'm trying to think we haven't got much arms. So lots of brake, 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 much harder, 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 harder. That comes in. So harder, harder, harder. And then that's two. Tip. And then I'm just going to come to one. And then put it off. You just got that much harder. No pedals at all. That's it. No pedals. No pedals. That's it. No pedals. That's it. I'm just going to creep. That's it. It's just that you're not breaking on the floor because you're going flying towards the roundabout much too fast. You can see a lot of some red from about there. So also your left lane very much more. And then, what no. Do you hand brake on the um, and then, and stuff. so if you do no pedals, I'm going to move off on this one, so let's wait for then. It's just you know, braking left that one, to go about much, much harder than that, and then gas go through. That's what I said earlier on, the lights can make them harder, they're not always easier. But you got to think, right, if you my head left lane go, it's got to be really quick, but that gets better than what you do. So round, around, 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 around. That's it. Oh, is this one? That's good. Yeah, okay, so it's red. That's it. So that one there, that's a stump on the left. So what do we do now? Just telling people. That's it. Someone's going to park in a really bad place or maybe broke down. But that's good. So this again takes practice. If you've only started doing it, you've got to be like straight ahead, left lane go. You've got to be that quick. If you take more than a few seconds to think, by the time you've done it, it's too late. You could have gone ahead right lane, but I don't want to do that just yet because that's where you've got to go fast and overtake people. Which you are doing well there, but just, I don't want to stick to left lane for now. What's got to come off? That's it. Why is that really important? That's it, that's good. That's it. So I had that, the silver car, for example. That silver car was near driving in the back of the black one. That's what I say, if you don't go flat out in the right lane, you will get people being aggressive like that. So poor way, like before, we're going to follow that road. That's good. That's 
that's it. And next right to the top of the hill. Oops, zip zero comes off quick, that's it. If it stays on too long, it's confusing. It spills in, you maybe go left or whatever. That's good. So hard brake, massive braking. Leave the crutch as long as you can till when. Yep, so steer, no gear. That's great, that's much better. So it feels more controlled. That's it. Yep, that's really good. So you just feel more controlled than before because you'll leave the, the clutch later. So end of the road will go right. As you go there, it might feel quick because it is quicker, but that's what we're doing. Now, if you compare that to where you did it a few hours ago, like hours and lessons ago, that's much better. That's what's so about the lanes on the fast road, you get more used to that the more you do. It always naturally get quicker doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's from, um, I should have thought about that. It just yep. surprised me how much I had to break. Yeah, it's got much, much more on that. So it's trying to get right off the cat's eyes, that's it. Right, that's it. Either way is good, that's it. So I know, so gas, go for it. Check in where as well. That's it, that's good. So you see how by doing that, you didn't lose control at all. You didn't even wobble, that was good. And there was nothing ahead for a long way, so that's fine. So, so that car, they just swerved like mad. That car kept swerving out from the pub, maybe, I don't know. So, Birmingham, which way? Um, se se um, second. Yep, that's it, so head second. So, that's good back ahead. Try and leave a clutch up. Can we maybe stay in three and go? Maybe not, but. Maybe where we were, but it's just good to try it. Okay. That's a much better approach, that's good. Uh, that's good. No one, that's definitely one. Two, no way to, because two, you've just got to go. Okay. It's good you're looking as well, because anyone could go through a red light or police or whatever could be there. That's good. Okay, there aren't many roundabouts at all with lights on around here, but that's one of them. So it's up to you again now. Yeah, it's up to you. 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 That's it, so braking just in case. Nothing else. That's good, that's it. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, you don't always brag there on the way to lights, but that one I thought they might change, it didn't, but what was making me thin the light, do you think? The pink green. Yep, yeah, that's it, also come off there. That's good. So here's an awkward parking man here today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, this comes down to experience, but looking at this bend, it, it isn't that bad, you have to do 50. I mean, I've done 70 around here loads of times myself. It's not that bad at all. You don't have to, but you can go more than 50. I mean, I know we're not now, but if you were towing a caravan or something, maybe you wouldn't then. You know, you certainly wouldn't want to do then. There is one in Cornwall I did about two years ago where this, this car, this big jaggy, was towing a caravan. He went too fast and the caravan just flipped the car over. He, he didn't take any notice of the at all. Especially with a caravan, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's but, um, but without a caravan, it's a bit easier. Anyone undertaking? It should never be, but you never know. So, one more go on the roundabout, and then we're going to head back over. But this has gone really well, so we've pretty much finished this. There is a bit more to do next time, but we've pretty much got this done. So, I want to follow Birmingham. That's good, corrected. Yeah, you corrected that. You went a little bit wide, but you got it back straight away. So I did. How could that be a little bit better? Like in terms of positioning. Yeah, that's it. That's good. So fifth. Let's go fifth. That's it. That's good. That was just third to fifth. Because when you corrected, what was it you corrected? Yeah, that's it, just keep more left, that's fine. 
if you ride a wheel when a bit over the middle line, there's no one around, so no big danger there, but keep tight in. The next one I'm going to go over with you, because it's if you get this one wrong, this could be really bad. You may be wooden, but I can't tell that risk. It's such a dangerous one in times. Um, the next one, this is kind of giving away, but there's no time to ask you, because it's so late that the mark is, you don't have a chance to see him. It's going to be a head, second exit. You're going to want the middle lane, but people do it from the left lane. So as you move, before you move off, check the left mirror well, make sure no one's cutting us up, like we did before. We did it from the other angle before, but from this way, a lot of people go ahead in the left lane. If they do that, you must be ready to hold back, wait, and then go. But I can't ask you what that would in like the two seconds it takes to do it, so it's already quick. I'll go over a little bit with you, but it's still pretty much going to be up to you. I'll just go through a few things. After this, we'll head back, and that's all been good. Not to be honest, no. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Well, if it's happening, you could get the bikes fall off the car in front, that bike's going round. And that was when you got to brake quite hard. So this gap is good, because if that did all go wrong and did happen, you got a good distance. It's like he's driving quite close to that car, the bike. Yeah. It's like he's like trying to talk to him. Yeah. Okay, so it's a head second exit. Is anyone around that's just likely to overtake or undertake? Uh, that's it. So I know it's middle line. I know I've kind of told you that, but it's just a den of times. Look, so no one likely to cut us up at the moment. So that's good. If you didn't know his middle, you see how hard it is to see. You say we could, we don't want to be, you could fly down left and curve one up if you did it wrong. That's good. So just before you go, check the mirror for anyone cutting us up. But I'll leave it up to you because what you're doing there is quite good. That's good, then we'll cut this up. Sorry, yeah. No, that's good, that's fine. That's good. That's great. That's it. What's this line? The bus. Yes, that's me, that's good. That's it, that's good. Nice and wide, that's really good. That's great, because I didn't want to start that silly, you did, that's really good, because you saw that you went. And you see how much you don't have much time when you're driving, you gotta be quite quick. So, not this road here but the left after where the bus is pulled up. It's that road you can see in the distance. So, it's that car going to let the bus go? He's got, he's got no choice. That's good, that's great. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. That's much better than before. That's a big improvement there. So, I went so much to hold her back. We're just leaving the last kind of 10, 15 minutes without me talking much at all. So, end of the road, we go right. That's good, no lines we still go by, that's good. I'm just gonna push window down over everything. Quite soon I'll get used to all the heat and all that stuff, but for now that doesn't matter. That's good, that's it. That's just a plastic tray, whatever the matter. So I imagine if you swerve around that, you could have, but then you'd put yourself in more danger than just running over a plastic tray. Is that breaking a bit, does it? It's because, why do you think it, it's kind of hard now to drive on these roads than it normally would be um, on those lessons? Is that breaking a bit? I'm not sure. It's been a lot of high speed. So oh. in even high speed, you've got to readjust to, to the low speed. When you first start driving, there's like liquids in your brain that change, and when you first start doing high speed stuff, they have to kind of calibrate. So I've been drunk in a way, so when you come off a fast road, it feels like you're going much, uh, much slower than you are. Yeah, definitely. You're going quite slowly. You quickly get used to that, but it's something that um, your brain sort of develops. He 
if you have gone the other way, um, you go from 70 down to 20 zone immediately. So it's a big change. Remember, I see. Remember doing this before about the um, good example there, doors with. That's it. See, that's the blue signs. It doesn't always mean motorway. It's just sometimes it's motorway, but blue signs normally give you positive instructions. Like they you know, say, so you can go this way, or this is a motorway, or this is a bus lane. Thinking back to what I just said there, what's this blue sign saying? Yeah, that's it. So we can go, or we should be able to go. So blue nearly always means you can do something. Not always, because there's always exceptions, but um, it depends on the vehicle showing. If it's like a, a picture of a bus on the blue sign, that's buses can do this. Not buses can go in the bus lane. Anyway, so roundabout right, so I went to Sandwich again. Um, so that's going really good. That's good, that's good, that's good. No, that's good. That's really good because you're aware they're there, but you're not overacting, that's really good there. Yes, the van behind the car didn't really want to stop, but the car stopped, that's good. That's improved massively today, that about looking and going, that's really good. Not very nice in this weather as well, it's really muggy and horrible. So, dip straight on. When it's warm and muggy, how does that affect people? Yeah. Maybe That's it. And you do get a lot like more road rage in the summer. Like people who don't have aircon or don't have it on or whatever can be pretty, uh, pretty angry. It's just one factor, but it does, does you do see that happening. Particularly bikers, because imagine if you're on a bike and you got leather on, it's quite horrible and it's hot. Uh, no bikes, no horses, Russ, but... No, yeah, uh, exactly. There are, you can get through traffic like that, but apart from that, I can't think of many. I wouldn't really fancy doing it's so it. so dangerous. Yeah. So if we go so roundabout ahead. Can we go for the van? Yeah, that's good, that's great. That's really good. That's really good judgment there because that van was coming down, was sticking them, you judge that really well. Okay, that, that's what's hard to teach, really impossible to teach because you've just got to get used to judging that, that's perfect there. So roundabout left, first exit. Just came out so far from that curve, that's good. Is that red car? What were they doing? The one behind? Yeah, coming off, but very slowly. That's it. You know, U-turn. Just use it up. So it's still good to go, but they didn't U-turn. So be careful. That. What makes you have to brake on this road? Really? That's it. I mean, it's hard because the shadows and the sun's quite hard. Yeah, so they're on. It's good to go. Just left a little bit more. It's just to be aware that car was U-turning, which you don't get very often. But um, like now they're getting really slow for the minute over the bumps. If your position is as good as it is, that, that speed's fine for the bumps. So I'm not so much, I'll still help now and then with a few things, but not so much at all. When I say nothing, that's when you're at the very end. You know, nothing at all, ever. So before we finish, we're just going to go into that one little junction we had last time. If we get time, we'll see. Try some water, it? That's good. It's just a little bit close to that minute, is it? It's been more right, so I remember last week when you hit the curb, you go next left. Um, it's just sometimes you get quite far to your left. I know this is fine, but just keep well to the right, right over the bump, that's it. That's as far left as you need to be. That's it. Because you might remember doing this one in the past as well. This road, which way is the road going? It's going to bend right. That's it, going before we turn off, yeah. yeah. So those are good, it's just the mini is quite close to the mirror, so you just got to the brake, we'll keep out, but don't get that close. Remember the last week where we turned left and cleared the curve after we did the maple around the back? That's when it happens when you're getting like, right on top of things. So, end of the road, right.
Oh, no, there's good. No, he's good. It's just every now and then, but we'll keep watching out for that. Yep. She, um, so she only got two minors, but then... Sorry, the end of the road left. She got two minors. Just be quiet for a second. <laughs> yeah, these forts tend to come in the last sort of ten minutes or so of a lesson. That's where this comes up, because it's because we've been driving for a couple of hours. It's quite tiring, especially in this weather. That's really good. Oh, it's staying too. It's staying too. Because that's not quite low enough for me. Slip's got super slow. That's fine. That's good. So that's really smooth. She lifted the clutch slow. You could do one, but it's too fast for one. So you'd have to slow right down unnecessarily and then do one. That's what you call adequate, adequate clearance um, when you're not having yeah, adequate clearance to park cars or any obstruction. Uh, so, next road on the right. Could you get around? No, that's right. That's it. So now it's one. That's it. Not good times, I won't be on to go around because the bus is going to move off. Yep, as you just found out. Exactly why we didn't go around. So people think, oh, it's a learn, you got it wrong. No, they got it wrong. Yeah. Anyway, that's good. So now you can wire back from the junction just in case that bus doesn't know I did. That's fine. When I was standing there, we'll go over more cross roads, but sometimes the buses stop and they let someone in around the back of them. And if you, if you go in, you kind of block the, the one to go around the back of them. But that comes in on crossroads. That's what you call overtaking by type when you think you'll learn to go around, they've got it wrong, but we haven't. So if you think our bus going slow, then they're actually not going slow. So it's easy to say, old oh, biker, they must be speeding, but they're not all speeding. <laughs> it's just you can't sort of stereotype people. So following to the right, following the bus. This is just to get to that road that we had before. Because um, there is a quick way we could have gone back, but I wanted to try this to put this one. Could we go around the bus, do you reckon, or not? Um, no, no, no way, that's good. But keep back so you could if lots of people get off. Could you go around now? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. Because there are about four people getting on, that's really good. And I'm going to walk in front of the bus. That's good, because even if they had your width was so wide, that was really good. Because it would have had room to come out and see us and still not hit them. Well, I didn't indicate, did I need That's fine, that's fine. No one behind us, that's fine. Because you're positioning, that's the signal. You're positioning, breaking, it's that look we're trying to go. So, end of the road, left, it's up to you. This is the favourite one. But you did all the other as well, so let's see if this goes as well. We don't have the wink, can we? Could you go for the cheap or not? No. 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 You could buy the time answer, you couldn't, but that's good. Could you go for the black one? I think so. Yep, so you get lots of gas, loads of gas, gas, gas. That's good, just push really hard. Build and build and build and build, 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 build. That's good, the next road on the right. It's good to see that because then you can go then, so that's good stuff. So, yeah, that's good. Can we time this so we can just go around like we all say? Nope, so I know. That's good. That's it. That's good. The reason I jumped in there is just because if you leave it later, that's when it's no good. You always say before, I don't leave it too late to decide. So, the one where you pulled out from the black one, it could feel erratic that, but that's fine. Because that one, you can go. You see, the black car didn't flash, didn't blow the horn, they weren't angry. That's good. It's only bad if you pull out and you make them break. You know, you make them slow right down. And again, straight on, this is the same route we did before. That's good, that's perfect. Okay, the window's down because now it needs to be warm, but you can also hear better there. So you can often hear things well before you see them. So we'll go the next road on the left coming up. It's back that way, isn't it? What kind of thing on the road? Silent, though, that's the most dangerous guy in the silent ones. So is he going to pull in there? 
Yeah, just kill him. Let's go. Oh, just close it. Just slow it. That's good. No, that's well dealt with there because he didn't jump, he didn't bang, he went to one, but that was smooth. Yeah, so what kind of thing can be silent on the road? Um, like a bicycle. Yep, that's it. Quick. That's it. That, that could slow down that hill because that crossroad is a big hill to the right, so yeah. if that could down faster, can be. Electric cars as well are almost totally silent on milk floats. So if there are many electric cars, sometimes have speakers in the bonnet and they have to emit a, a fake engine sound because really? you actually can't hear them. So one, one big thing that's coming in now is you can buy like Formula One sound engine, whatever you want. You, know, you can customise your engine sound. But that, that's, they're quite rare, but you can't get them. So end of the road we go, right. But it's quite dangerous to be silent when you're driving. So end of the road left and then back into the station. I haven't been many at all, there might be one I can remember where we didn't go like that one on the hill just, we could maybe gone, but that's the only one, all the others have been really, really good, and even that was quite a tight gap. So second left, you go round to the right, and then the way rules go, there's that thing in the road still, that towing bar that's already been, just watch out for that on the way. Okay, so this time, when you go on the right, it's up to you to pick a parking space um, in the middle or whatever, it doesn't matter, but we haven't done bay parking yet, but that's up to you. Can we get it? That's good, that's good. Because that makes it easier for them if we go, they've got more room. What do we do? I'm just kidding. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm just going to have to back on. Yep, so we clutch down one, we're all good. Turn it to one. Clutch down, zip into one. Oh, okay. And then quick. That one is all the time, it's always clutch down one every time. Zip, because you would never ever come out of two. It's just way too fast to come out into. Yeah, I so, think it's every time. Right at the end, every just, single time. Just pick a space anywhere before that red one. Yeah. We're all working out, but that's got much better today. So don't let that, that one you know, ruin the rest. Yeah, so I know, clutch. That's it. That's good. Run him. Break. Break. Well. That's good, exactly moving to get out. Because if we're not going to be here long, that's, that's good to be there. Good morning, let's turn off there. So, what do you think of all that over like, the roundabouts? What do you think of those, the big roundabouts? Generally, I thought you got a lot, um, improved a lot. Yep, that's a lot better. Especially the attacking chance is really good. We had the thing with the bikes happen, that was unusual. So, you got to see what happens if something like that goes on. Yeah, like a few more positions come out, things like that. Um, Anything you want to work on those big roundabouts, you think they're fine though? No. Like the, the two we did, the, the Becky trial and the Maypole, the main two. I'm quite happy with it. it. I feel like I have to check if I'm in the right lane a lot. Like I'm sort of sure, yeah. I'm like 70%, yeah. but not entirely yeah. sure, so maybe that's... But of all that's a lot better. What do you think of the creep? And apart from that one back there, what do you think of that? Uh, I think it went quite well. I'll hold it on the... Um, on the the bit I don't like the uphill yep. one at the end. That's it. Quite well. Because that one you just stand on this one back there, you just clutch down early, roll, no brakes at the hill, roll, one, balance and then go. Mm -hmm. So next time what we're going to do, the thing I've been mentioning is, we're going to go to a totally different area you don't know at all, which you don't know you don't live around here, so you don't know this area that well anyway. But we're going to go to a totally different part, not even Birmingham, it's a totally different area, I went somewhere. But um, there are going to be lots and lots of high speed roads and roundabouts and other roads as well, but you won't know any of them. So the idea is that shows us if you can drive on roads you don't know. So you don't have to memorise the lanes, you can look at the lanes, things like that. Then after that we've only got to do crossroads, manoeuvring, and in terms of topic that's all done. So there are more things to do but that's the topic's done. So we'll have it all done within about two weeks-ish. And we're going to do a mock test about five or six lessons from now, which is about two weeks before you test, I think, something like that. Okay. And then we'll build up from there, see how that goes. Well, so that's about it. Uh, 
think just quick I'll show you the thing I was saying about the book. 